Hey awesome viewers, join me the nutritionist on two wheels as we ride into a world of healthy living, tasty eats and epic adventures. Hello, hello good people. It is a beautiful day, the weather is amazing, the sun is out and it was quite cold in the morning. I wouldn't have guessed that things would brighten up. We are in the area of Some. I am approaching Northern Bypass and we are heading to West T. This is your nutritionist on two wheels. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you've watched my videos before, Karibu Tena and I appreciate the support Kamakawaida. So at the moment um, the state of the nation things are, are not good politically. And we really have a long way to go. Considering the kind of president we have who's not uh, uh, listening to to our needs. So mtu anasikia toa mechoka, ukilala, unotatu na politics, protests, everything that is just happening. Na hizi vitu zinatu affect sisi directly and it's just, it's unfortunate. Atu tachoka, we cannot give up because we have to fight for what is ours. Accountability is very important. This has definitely affected like work performance, motivation. So uh, this is the Northern Bypass still. I want us to go all the way to Campbell Road. club ni mwana maina kageni ana promote and I haven't seen that jangalia have you seen anything this is my next door Abanos is here Nelioni Neto Arena they had said it's near Windsor and it's not here I'm at Jangalea Vizori Kutoka for your roundabout. We previously talked about the importance of a balanced diet to toddlers. Today, we're diving into a topic close to many parents' hearts, picky eaters, and how to introduce healthy foods. Let's face it, mealtimes can sometimes feel like a war zone. You lovingly prepare a nutritious meal only to be met with wrinkled noses, frowned faces, and the dreaded, I don't like it, chorus. But fear not, fellow parents, because in this video, we're going to turn those frowns upside down and transform your little ones into rainbow-loving beings. We'll explore the reasons behind picky eating, debunk some common myths, and equip you with fun and effective strategies to make healthy eating an adventure, not a battle. Before we jump into strategies, let's understand why our little ones might be so hesitant towards new foods. It all boils down to a few key factors. First, there's something called neophobia, which basically means a fear of the unfamiliar. 
Imagine encountering a giant bright orange object you've never seen before. That's kind of how a new vegetable can appear to a child. Then there's sensory sensitivity. Some kids might be extra sensitive to certain textures, smells, or even the way a food looks on their plate. A mushy piece of broccoli might feel gross in their hands, while the vibrant green color of spinach could be overwhelming. It's important to remember that these are normal developmental stages. Don't blame yourself and definitely don't blame your child. They're simply navigating the world with their unique set of senses. Now, there are some other potential factors to consider, like medical conditions or allergies. If you're concerned about your child's eating habits, always consult a doctor or dietitian. But for the most part, picky eating is a normal phase. And with the right approach, we can guide them towards a healthy and adventurous relationship with food. Train to get the road to cut off Kelenze Ronda. Alright, let's clear the air about some common myths surrounding picky eaters. Myth 1, they'll eventually grow out of it. This can be true, but not always. While some kids naturally become more adventurous eaters as they grow up, it's important to establish good habits early on. Think of it like building a strong and healthy house. The sooner you lay a good foundation, the better. Myth 2, forcing them to eat will work. Imagine being forced to eat something you find unappealing. It wouldn't exactly make you love that food, right? The same goes for our little ones. Let's focus on making mealtimes positive and encouraging exploration, not battles. Now, that doesn't mean giving in to every demand, but we'll talk about setting healthy boundaries later.
Amber Rudd, which is what we are joining. Okay. Hapo nimefanya blender, nimesita sita. When uh, you, you make a decision, you need to still stand, stick, stand by it, stick to it. So if you're driving, join the road. Acha ko yomba yomba. These cops over here are usually ruthless. I'm sure this is my Misha. So, how do we turn these picky eaters into rainbow warriors? We have mentioned most of these points in our previous videos, such as making it fun and engaging or involving them in the process, of course, within predetermined parameters. But let me emphasize on exposure is key. Here's a little secret. It can take 10 to 15 tries for a child to accept a new food. Don't get discouraged if they refuse a bite on the first try. Think of it like training their taste buds for new adventures. The more they see and taste a new food, the more comfortable they become with it. Here's how to make exposure work for you. Offer new foods with familiar favorites. Pairing a new vegetable like steamed carrots with their favorite butternut and liver can make it more inviting. Think of it as a bridge. The familiar helps them feel comfortable, while the new food opens them up to new possibilities. Variety is key. Rotate different vegetables and fruits to keep things interesting. Expose them to a variety of colors, textures and flavors to keep their little taste buds engaged. One day it can be cabbage, the next day it can be diced avocado. Keep it fresh. This is Red Hill Road. Let's focus on celebrating the effort, not just the outcome. Focus on effort, not just eating. Praise them for trying a new bite, not just finishing the whole plate. Even a tiny nibble is a victory. Celebrate their willingness to explore new tastes with a high five, a silly dance.
Here are some additional tips to keep in mind. Limit sugary drinks and snacks. Filling up on empty calories can leave less room for healthy options. Offer water as the main beverage and limit sugary treats. Don't make meal times a battleground. Keep the atmosphere positive and avoid forcing them to eat. Meal times should be a time for connection and family bonding, not stress. Turn off the TV, put away electronic devices and have a conversation. Be a good role model. Eat a variety of healthy foods yourself and express enjoyment. Kids are keen observers and they'll be more likely to try something new if they see you enjoying it. Remember, it's a journey, not a race. Be patient and consistent. Building healthy habits takes time, but with these strategies, you can transform your little picky eater into a rainbow-loving adventurer. The carpet at this, this stretch, it was bad. And they only had one job. What is this? the company and I hope that you have enjoyed the video until the next time see you